Guys, you don't need to choose between price and quality to get an amazing and affordable shave. DollarShaveClub.com is the answer. To prove how amazing their shave really is, right now they are going to give you the first month free to join the club. DollarShaveClub.com delivers amazing razors right to Tim's door. That's right. Tim Gettys uses them. Are you saying you're better than Tim Gettys? I don't believe it. Don't make me curse at you. I don't want to. You! can get those razors for a third of the price of what the greedy razor corporations want. See why over 3 million members like Tim Gettys love Dollar Shave Club. They're so confident in the quality of all of their products. Now, you can get your first month of the club for free. Just pay shipping. After that, it's just a few bucks a month. No long-term commitment. No hidden fees. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. Don't you want to look like Tim Gettys? I sure do. Below the waist. Colin. Yes. What's your topic? Showering. Specifically two questions. Sure. How often? And then what is your ritual? Now I asked the how often because I was I, I stumbled across some weeks ago what I would term a disturbing topic on our Facebook group. Don't fucking mm. look at me. Kevin. Well, I didn't look at you. No, Tim did. Tim did. Tim oh. looked at Kevin. Uh that's and, a no no in this place. And uh People were like, how often do you shower? And I, without even looking, I just wrote, I'm like, two times a day. Like, two times a day. Right? Like, yeah. get all the bacteria. At out. least once a day, but often two times a day. Mm-hmm. Not always, often. And then I was disturbed because in this, in this thing, there was a dis- really a strange amount of people saying, once every other day? And I'm like, that's fucking disgusting. Gross. Now, stinky. maybe not in 1850, maybe not even in 1930, whatever that been disgusting. Mm-hmm. But this is 2016. Yeah, 2016. Now, you know, teach his own. If you don't want to shower, you know, sometimes people just lounge around over the weekend. They don't shower from Friday night, You're Friday to Sunday, pinky. or whatever. It's, it's like fine. Yeah. that's fine. But like, like the people were making arguments, being like. Because the argument was like, my child doesn't want to shower every day or bathe every day or something like that. Who the fuck cares what your child wants? You're the parent. So like they're saying when you're younger, I guess you don't have to. And and I don't remember. I I feel like I bathed every day when I was a kid. But um, people were making an argument for adults. And I'm like, "Mm." if you get up on a Monday morning and shower, go Mm. to work, come home, go to work on Tuesday, come home and then shower on Wednesday. That's weird. I agree. And I want to see if you guys agree with that premise. I'm oh, sorry. But then I also want to see if it, what, what your particular rituals are, because shower rituals are a personal kind of thing. But I also feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I do the same exact thing in the shower in mm-hmm. sequence. Me too. Every time I'm in it. Oh, every time. Yeah. So I'm curious. Wait, hold on. So, I so wanna, let me pitch I, this first I question. I day first. Yeah. Tim, how often are you showering? How often? Once a day, for sure. I would prefer twice a day, but I don't got time for that. You I were, used to do that. Why were you grinning and looking at Kevin? How often is he because, shower? So Kevin, Kev, this has been an this issue in me and bullshit. Kevin's life since the day I was When born. I was a little kid, sure. But now it's bullshit. I, I mean, no, I, Now people hold him accountable. He would just not shower. Just straight up like, you know what? I like bad. Until someone force, forces me to shower, I'm not doing it. And I'm like, I fuck, I love it. I love showers. That's the thing. It's, it's fun. It's great. It feels it's all so warm. good. It's amazing. Mm. But yeah, Kevin, not Hands down for showering. Everywhere. And then it wasn't until Paula, God bless her heart. No. That no she, like, way. No, he's lying. Forced him to be on some form of like That's routine. That's a lie. When did you, know when, did you get on a, when did you get on a schedule for showering? I don't know. Dog? I mean, Probably to be real, like I don't think he's school. on a schedule now. Like, I, high school? The amount of times that I've seen grown woman, Paula, talk to grown man, Kevin, and say, you need to shower. She says that shit all the time. It's upsetting. To be fair, I am covered in sweat a lot of the time. That's why you should shower. What point are you making? Because sweat, after a couple days, (laughs) makes stinky. No, no, but I shower every morning, and it sucks. I hate, I still... (laughs) Why do you hate it? it? How do you hate showering? You smell like a dolphin. You're like a dolphin in water. I, I gotta, like, get up. I gotta go into the shower. You don't and enjoy it. Fucking towel. You don't no. enjoy the hot no, water no, no, no. just fucking yeah. running over you. Yeah, it's I don't so have, weird. I don't shower in hot water. He doesn't do well with hot water. Oh my god. Or just why, just wait, why, does he he, why don't you do well with hot water? Hot tubs. He like gets all weird. It gets. Like, it gets me really like. Like I start headed. sweating. Oh, it overheats you. Don't get, turn yeah. up that hot. That, I mean, I, I no, do the same I, thing. Yeah, I gotta keep the water hot, but not hot. No. But you shower once a day. Yeah, I shower once a day every morning. And Nick, you shower once a day. Yeah, at least once a day. 
Yeah, because um, I can't. Not twice, I suffer from dry skin. No, I, feel like I gotta, I gotta give a, a, a real talk shout out though. Like I shower once a day. I used to shower twice a day, but like there will be days. Like shout out yeah. to those oh, like sure. days yeah, where yeah, I don't yeah. do shit. And holy crap, if I'm busy doing something, if I'm editing videos and stuff all night, I am not showering, and that's a problem when you have put this much hair product. Oof, in your head. Yeah, it's the thing about it is, and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be too judgy, even though I am, is that you know there there are days like that, right? But my day does not begin. In a real way, until I'm in a shower, yeah, and I get out of shower. Like, but other. So what I'm saying is that's a lost day. What's weird right? about like, you that day is gone. Is the fact that you'll shower at like 11:30 sometimes, mm. and then shower again in the morning. That's the one that'll get me. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, shower at night because I like because oh, sometimes that. I can't get into my bed if like all right. So I always shower in the morning, always, and and then at night if I feel like either I'm bored, bored. or I just feel like showering because it's fucking fun, or I like was sweaty or I did something that day. Yeah. Then I shower again because I can't get into my bed. Knowing that there's some sort of filth on me, sure, like you the know, like, Clements method. Exactly, it's just, it's just. I gave up on that a long it's time. It's just ago. common sense. My bed's just nasty, so I'm cool with and it. You're my, it nasty. my mom, not even my mom. Actually, she kind of left me alone. But uh, everyone else around me used to give me a lot of shit for how often and how long I shower. And everyone always makes like masturbation jokes. I have never touched myself in the shower. Well, That's you have, but I'm you haven't there. touched yourself. I mean, I've never, I have never ejaculated in the sure. shower That's unless someone else was in there with me. Sure. You know? I mean, that's You're that's. Out. I did a lot of exploration. No, I, I've never shower. been a shower masturbator either. Oh, I mean, I, I don't. I, that's not where I look to masturbate, but when you're a young man exploring his body for the first sure. time, that's the, one of the only times you can get. A, you feel like you get away with the exploratory nature of, uh, yeah. of What's discovery. What does all mean? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, when yeah. It, it each each and every. I mean, I think it's a rite of passage for most for most kids that to uh, to understand. The uh, the cause and effect of the shampoo master. Oh yeah, see, and this is where it's like causality. I Absolutely. felt like a wa- for some of this was deja vu. This is just the 2016 shower conversation. Some of this has been talked about. We have, no, 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 we no, have no. Talked, talked about. This. No, we've talked about masturbating in the shower and shampoo. I've we talked about the more farty. Yeah, and I, you when you said I have a thing I do peeing in the shower was the top. But then you said I have a thing to do that I've heard it. Now granted, you and I spend twenty hours a day together. So this has been split into two topics. One was peeing in the shower, and one was Nick's um, hair okay. ritual. Okay, so, okay. So that's but, what we're so, about. So, right, don't get so me wrong. I think we're treading new ground. I have a whole new shower regimen I've been using lately. I, I'm all good about for talking. You. Yeah. I can't change my shower regimen. In fact, if I ever ch- if I do something out of order, I have to start again. Now, because that's just a little bit of a, my, my OCD at work. But what I do is I get in the shower and I brush my teeth. Yeah, I still think that's weird. I love brushing my teeth in the shower. I'm with you. I'm uh, not against it. I just, it's an amazing, it never ever it's an amazing, it never occurred to me. You let the water just soak over you and you just t- spend a few minutes and you brush your teeth in the shower. Mm-hmm. I love it. Are you I talking into a microphone or are you just Kevin, talking? Kevin, we already know you're against anything that has to do with a shower. Or hey, clean, is there soap and water involved? No, thank you. I'm Pigpen 2016. Like, do you have to just trick him into, Why, into, into the shower? Why spread yeah. all these fucking like, Kevin, you're going to get on this plane. with a little hot dog yeah, yeah, on it. It's like, oh, I'll like, get that. And then it closes in on him. And then, like, <laughs> so, so starts showering. Oh, so I have, so brushes I have two brushes. different rituals. The, yeah. The, the primary shower is the morning shower. The evening shower is different. All right. So the primary shower... Get in, brush your teeth, and then I take the, the, the shower, you know, poof. And I, I like using bar soap. Love bar soap. Mm-hmm. Love specifically uh, Dove for Men okay. or Irish Spring. Irish Spring. And they have the Irish Spring for Shout Men. Shout out now. to Amy Gills. Uh, oh, and I, you know, I get it all foamy, and then oh, I start with my neck. I avoid my face and my hair. Start with the neck, work my neck, way down, back, the body all the way down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And then I wash my hair. Yeah. And then I take the bar of soap again. And this time, I get spots that I feel like I didn't get adequately with uh, with, the, with with the. Well, we're gonna get to that. This thing because I because I have a thing that I've added on an addendum recently. Okay. Uh, that I was comfortable adding on to the process. I was gonna say you did change. Yeah, see, we uh, I clean like my, behind my ears, like my ears. I get a little finger in the belly button, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, belly. And then I wash like my face, and then I wash all of that off. Now the addendum was. The secondary shower, if I feel like I didn't do that much, but I feel like I need to shower, I get in the shower, I brush my teeth, right? And then I just take a bar of soap and I just wash my armpits and my crotch and my ass and that's it. Mm. Because of the, what you said, which is the dryness the dry of doing it twice in a day. So you don't want to touch the face again. You don't want to maybe go on the arms and all that kind of stuff. Sure. But then I took that and then I added it to the primary shower after washing my face. I let everything bra- go off or whatever. And then I'm like, I'm not clean enough in these in these primary stink areas. This is the primary stinky pinky. So then I have to go back with the bar of soap, do all that, then I wash all that off, then I get the fuck out. Mm. Interesting. Okay? So mm. that is the process by which the shower mm. is taken once mm-hmm. a day, the beginning and the end, 
And that's why I feel like the secondary shower, even like the 11.30 shower, sure. and, the, and the rare tertiary shower, by the way, which happens once in a blue moon. I feel like that doesn't really count in that regard because I'm basically just getting myself wet. Exactly. I got to get wet. 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 And I got to just let it all kind of. Mm-hmm. Sure, well, sure, sure, sure. You know, so that's the process. So yeah, what I've, I mean, my thing has been standard for a while. Get in there, get wet, shampoo right away, conditioner twice a week. I used to do it every day. Fran Mirabella nearly had a heart attack when I told him that. He said, "No, you do it. You do it every other day, tops Max. twice yeah. a week." And I'm like, "Well, I'll take your." This hair is conditioner or shampoo? Conditioner, conditioner. Okay. shampoo every day, conditioner twice okay. a week. Okay. Whenever you, when I feel like it, let it, it let it happen. Right. Let it flow. Yeah. Then it's the bar soap. Dove unscented, mm. all over, all over, all over, all over, all over. Yeah. I'm gonna do this thing right. Put it down. Why unscented? I didn't like the scented ones for a while. I want and I, here. Stick with me because we're about to get to a little bit of that. All right. Down. Then the new thing I've added is the loof on a stick. Now oh, yeah. I had the poof on the stick for a long time. Still have it in there. It's just chilling out, getting moldy. I'm sure. But now I got the fucking hey. I stole a piece of coral reef and I shoved it on a stick and it's fucking ready to go because for some reason I started getting the back knee. And I started getting a little, a little buttony too. And I was like, that's not normal. And, and I've been using a different bar soap. So I moved the unscented to see if that was getting me. But I was still getting it. Plus the bar soap, I know I'm missing key mm-hmm. areas. And loofah clear, the poof loofah wasn't working. Do you, put the, put, do you put the loofah in your ass sometimes? No. Oh. I'll get to the that's ass in a second. I'll get to the ass in a second. <laughs> then I take down the coral reef one here, right? I got this Neutrogena body clear stuff. Put it on there. You always rub it. You want it to get sudsy. It doesn't. The shit isn't here to fucking play around. It's here to kill the shit. Then I can do this and do this. Rub it. Then I take I take it like this. I palm it from behind, obviously, the coral part, and I go on the cheeks. I go on the Scrub back of the cheeks. cheeks here, right there, yeah. right there. I feel you. I'll tell you what. Cheeks are cleared up. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Back's better. It's getting. Good. They're still, you know, little ones. I'm not. Pr- uh, but it, no I think it's just, perfect. No it's more. Perfect. About, it's more about the scraping. I think. You yeah. know what I mean? It feels good yeah, too. You be it careful. feels really good you when you turn around. Who? When it hits the water, hits it. Then I put the loofah. Ba- I wash. I rinse the loofah. Put it back on there. Then back to the bar soap. Then you soap up the hand. Then you get in the acid. You get in there. You clean that yep. bad boy out. Wash that hand off. Then you clean the hand again. Feel yeah. Then I'm you out sniff there. it. Then you wash it. Off. No, no, no. Oh, I'm not sniffing. Yeah, you look at it. Meanwhile, I've got the shower speaker going. That one of the fans from Kind of Funny told me to get. I got the iPad kicking out my Spotify playlist. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. There's some, there's some Ghostbusters too on there. Dun, 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 dun. There's Ghostbusters one, but you understand? Yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I once a day usually for me. Uh, sometimes two if I go do a physical activity that I feel like got me too sweaty. Because I'm with Colin also. I don't like to get in. I don't like that feeling of getting in clean sheets and there's a, a slight friction that shouldn't be there. And you're like, that film, I'm that a little film. sticky. I need to get out of this. And no. go get this stickiness done. But I don't sweat that much um, unless I'm doing hard work, like building a studio. What up? Uh, You're Mecca. <laughs> um, so normally one, one day, one, once for me in the morning is right. Now, what I don't get are the people that shower at night and then go a full 24 hours mm, after mm. that thinking it's okay. Because you sweat at night. You've already got, you got eight hours of bacteria that's accumulating on your skin. right? Then you get up in the morning. Your hair's all fucked up, so you mm. got to put more stuff in it. And then you go to work, and I always notice that people, and maybe it's just me, but I don't think so. I think it's them. There's a there's a funk to that. There's a smell mm. of people you can tell didn't shower. Like if you, you go to the, them night showers. Well, you know what I mean. Like if you go to the gym in the morning, for instance, you can always spot the dudes that didn't shower before they go to the gym, and I hate that. I can't stand people that think it's acceptable to just get up and be like, I'm going to go work out anyway, so why don't I go to a yoga class right now? I Wait, no, that's, a as an outsider to your gym world, that sounds like that would be totally fine. That's unacceptable because you've got all that sweat and nastiness on you from the night before. and then when not you, that much nastiness But then when you sleeping. go to sweat, all of that all of that stuff is amplified. Mm. And specifically in yoga classes, like if you go to a yoga class and you haven't showered that day, I, you should deserve to get thrown out because you will fucking reek by the end of it and everyone in a five person radius of you will fucking hate you. Mm, yeah. That's just the way it mm. goes. So when you wake up in the morning, shower, get that ham smell off your skin so for us, so Uncle Nick you doesn't have to smell. ham smell? Yeah, because like a lot of people, it just smells like ham. <laughs> White people smell like ham. First, like ham. first off, ham's true. delicious. No, not when you're smelling it on a you're telling me you don't want man. You don't want some downward dog with a side of ham? You know I don't what want to stare into a man's asshole and smell ham is what I'm trying to say. All you know right. what I mean? It's All my, right. as an American living in, this, in the country that invented freedom, I, did that. I don't want, I, I, sh- I don't think I should have to be subjugated and, and, and relegated They're to trampling smelling your rights. ham on They're trampling your assholes. smell rights. 
That's just the way it goes. All of my um, friends do that, the the night showers. I hate it. And I've never understood it. And I've always smell been like, them next I time. I felt like, like I was the outside and I was wrong. Weird. But I'm you like, no, weird. I'm not Because this is the right sweat way to do it. has a smell to it. And mm-hmm. if you sweat when you sleep, that cakes onto your skin and then it bakes. Absolutely. Your, you're your body ba- you're, you're, bakes it. You're getting ba- basted. Like you ham. smell like a baked ham. It's disgusting. Honey, honey bakes or... It's normal. Honey baked's fine. I hate honey baked ham. I like the ham that's right there. Ham. I like the salt on it. I like the salt cured ham. Mm. I don't need that honey shit. Yeah, like I'm a ham fan in general. general. Can we I make mean, a ham? I get the smell. Um, jambon. Oh, oh, jambon, jambon. Damn, son. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I same ritual I've always had. I just get in there. Um, I'm very particular about the temperature. Like I like it to be pretty damn hot. Like yeah. I, if I want it to be, so if you turn it just a little bit more, it's scolding. Yeah. So it's just like it needs to be that that perfect yeah. level. Like it's uh, that one spot on your ass. You're like ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to be careful. Not let it like touch your balls uh, or your else balls. You, you got to ease into it. Yeah. Uh, I like balls that, and I like the the shower heads to be the ones that just kind of like destroy you. Yeah. Like I like that like You'd one stream scraping just off freaking the skin. Like, yeah, like just pounding against you. Please give it again. Please give yeah. it and send it to yeah. me. <laughs> that's all that I want is just no, it pounding do, against do. me. Because uh, like I don't like it when it's just that light little trinkle. Like I feel like it's not getting anything done, and I feel like it's just kind of relocating my dirt. Now, that's why hotels, man. I'm uh, like, God, if they don't have the turning well, thing, I'm fucking done. Now I agree with you that I hate the low flow shower heads, but I do love those rainfall shower heads. Like when you get into a nice hotel and they've got the thing over there, and it just gives you like all Only, the rain. It needs to be strong enough. That's my thing. If it's strong, enough. but my problem with that though is maybe I got some sensitive lips. It always makes my lips feel weird. Well, because when it, the water's the, getting on it, I'm just like, that's that is weird. I'm that not, is a very like strange it. thing you just said. <laughs> I don't like it at Sorry. all. Sorry. I gotta stop and uh, we gotta call attention to that. So wait, the powerful shower head you don't mind hitting your lips, no, but the race because it's, it's when it's that little trinkle. It tickles, it's, it's, it's like tickling the your lips. Tickling on my lips, and I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Okay, you're it alive. doesn't feel good. It, I, I mean, it's one of those things that's like, uh, it's really no, it's 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 just really, it makes me really, uh, it feels like I'm raw. Like the only way I can put it is like when you are just going way too hard in intercourse, yeah, and things are starting to feel real rough down there. Chap, chap, put on like your lips, chaps, like a and it's a shower that's doing it. <sighs> your to lips me. feel like a dry vagina. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow, pretty, no, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, so it's it's not, but no, Fair not enough. even not even dry. It's just like overused. Right. Yeah, a tired a used, vagina. Like feel a, like a used, <laughs> tired like a vagina. Used, yeah, so it's pretty bad. <laughs> but then if I can get past that, if the you know temperature's right and the the like the strength of it is right, then I'm ready to go and I will get in, totally get wet, get all the nasty shit out of my hair, of which there's a lot. Then I will take the little like loofah thingy. Yeah. Actually, first off, I do a rinse down. Rinse out all, oh, the, okay, all okay. the problem areas just to like start start the process. Then I grab my, my body wash. I'm not a bar soap guy okay. at all. Bar soap kind of creeps me out because it's like it's just sitting there and then sure. there's just funk on it all the sure. time. So the body wash, I'll hit the little pump. Put on my hands, put on the little loofah thing, yeah. loof up the armpits, loof up the the dick, yeah. loof up the little butthole area, mm-hmm. you know. Same loofah, then, just straight up on it. Well, but I mean, I'll loof the cheeks, right? Okay, okay, okay. I get in there with the hand. That's fine. Get just in there with the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to get in there with the hand. You got to scrape out the peanut butter. Yeah. You got to um, get that done. Damn. Uh, so after that process is going on, I will move on to uh, I'll, I'll, I'll then rinse again and clean, ending with the armpits because I feel like they're the cleanest bit of all that's going of on. The dirty parts. Yeah. So then I'll clean my ears out. That's real important. Uh, clear the face. What's the, what's cleaning ears like? Uh, look like using loofah. No, kind of, no more finger. I'm a Q-tip it's a finger guy. Game. I like to use the Q-tip. I, like oh, yeah, I do, I do that as well, but you, not in the shower. That's that's post shower. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying like my shower. I don't. I'm not doing much to my ears. Mm. Oh yeah, I gotta wash it. Gotta mm-hmm. wash. I'm an ear washer. Yeah. Well, I'm behind the ear, sure. Gotta wash the ear. Then it, then you brush the teeth. Oh, I, I in the shower. It before, you you shampoo your hair before the uh, um, loofing before the ear cleaning. Okay. Yeah. So that's what, like, what really cleans it before I start touching my face. So shampoo every three days condition. Um, but then yeah, brush, you brush your teeth. Yeah, 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 I was with you. It was VidCon 2012. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then I just let it all wash over me. And then I just stand there for as long as humanly possible yep. until it gets weird. Yeah, I love like, I love. I want to just be in I there have, until the hot water's gone or until someone's making me leave. I have an odd pre-shower thing that I do. Well, I'll start the shower while I'm still sitting on the john, having just done whatever business needed to be done. Uh, that day jerking it. sometimes it's number one sometimes it's number two sometimes it is jerking it um, but I like the sound of the shower it's very relaxing to me and I think it's because I was born in January and I feel like it was raining that day and when I came into the world I was like this is the world very relaxing whatever that sound is that 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 that, 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 that water hitting the 
the window outside of where I was born must have just been, you know, instilled in me. Um, but I like that. I find it soothing. Actually, th the real reason is because when I was a kid, I used to fucking hate getting up for school. And so my brother and I, I don't think my brother liked getting up very much either. But he always had to get up first because he was the oldest one. And so I would wait to the very last minute. And my mom would either yell at him or me to get in. And honestly, it was if he got in first, I would hear the water going and I would know that I could sleep for another like 15 minutes because my brother took fairly long showers. Um, now that came, of course, at a, at a price because then I also like taking really long showers. I like to just stand there and do nothing and just not nothing. be able to answer an email. But then my mom would yell at me and be like, get out of the shower. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with little Nikki and get out of the shower. You didn't have email when you were hanging out with your mom. What, when I was 15? Yeah. Totally email. It was, no, it was 1995. It was AOL. Dot com. And you had you had to answer I, had, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any fucking email. Any email. I still don't answer email. <laughs> no, we're well aware being your business partners.